Hi everybody, Quintlier's new home sales.com. I'm here with Adam Van Babel. Adam, thanks for joining us. Hey Quint, thanks for uh, giving me the time and the interview here. Yeah, no, we're excited. We're at the Jeff Shore Sales Leadership Conference out here in San Diego. Awesome event so far. It's my first time here and I've met a lot of other first time attendees. You got sales and marketing experts from all across the country. You can see, you know, packed room here. We're about to start the event, so I'm thrilled to be here. And that's what we do. We bring you inside tips from the best in the business. Adam, hashtag digital ninja, hashtag LinkedIn uh, superstar, hashtag giving back. These are some of the favorite people I like. Adam um, does a lot of work with home builders. First, tell me what O'Neill Interactive does, and then I'm going to talk about what you do with the, with your giving back. Thank you. Um, so O'Neill Interactive, I'm the business development manager there. We do website design and development, digital marketing for home builders across the country. We're an exhibiting sponsor here this year for the Sales Leadership Summit. A lot of our existing clients here, tons of great new opportunities, meeting people again from all across the country. Um, but you know, if anything from as small as a simple question about AdWords to full website design development. Those are things that we can help you with. So, you know, email me. It's Adam at O'Neill Interactive. We're going to do better than that. We're going to ask them right now. Give me three tips, three digital tips right now for our audience that they can implement right now today for free. Okay. Um, so I think number one on LinkedIn, a lot of people, you're, you're trying to get more exposure, right, on LinkedIn when you're doing posts and you wonder why the algorithm isn't showing your posts more. So you have more long form content, not in an article that you're writing there, but in an actual post. Bullet out a few things, use emojis, use hashtags, tag people. These are all simple things you can do to help gain you more exposure. And write in one, two sentence paragraphs, help push that content down, get people to click see more and get more engagement. And that's gonna allow you to, each post, start driving more engagement, more traffic, more views, and ultimately that's why we use social, right? What does emojis do? Um, emojis, I think, they're just eye-catching from an engagement perspective. As you're scrolling through your feed and all of a sudden you see a rocket ship or a smiley face or a trophy, I think by default you think, oh, well, this is cool. I want to look at that. So hashtags, do we do um, like one, two, or three? How many is too much and what, what should we do? Sure. I think with LinkedIn, I mean, Instagram's a different animal. You want to be using more hashtags, like 10 plus. LinkedIn, I like to keep it very relevant. So I'm in the home building industry. You use home builders, home building, new home sales, right? So I know that's one that we use to help promote all your great videos. Um, you know, but I, I like to keep it around two to three. Uh, here, Sales Leadership Summit, SLS 17, right? So use the hashtags all across. People, I think, really, at least in the initially, Twitter and Instagram. They're like, that's where hashtags live. That's where they belong. But you see people using them on Facebook, on LinkedIn. And LinkedIn, it's really, it's a resource, right? So a hashtag is a way to drive people to whatever that relevant topic that you're talking about. So when people click on home builders, then you've got a nice feed of all this home builder content. So give me a tip for a website that builders, you know, right now, uh, whether they're using your services or not, what is something they can do right now on their website to increase visibility, expertise, whatever? Hmm, that's a good one. So, I mean, a website, we view it as a living, breathing instrument, right? I mean, a lot of people think I build my website, I'm done, and they don't look at it as you know it's more of like an expense versus investment um, I think really w what you could do right now is take a good hard look right you've got these prospects that are visiting your website and customer experience you know when they get there you, you've got websites that you want to generate leads but once they get there you want them to convert you want people touring your models you want people reaching out to your salespeople right so I like to tell people to go out and talk to their prospects if they get the sale, if they don't, and ask them what that experience was like. Ask them what they liked about the website. You know, was it easy to fill out a form to get in touch with me? That gives you a really good foundation for improvements to your site. Maybe you need a new site, but it kind of lays the framework for the bigger picture of why you have that site to begin with. So that's, you know, there's, you need to kind of know code to implement those things, but a very easy thing you can do right now is just reach out to your existing or past prospects and ask them for a very honest opinion of your you know, website, the experience it provided them. Oh yeah, we were talking about this. Back to the LinkedIn, um, you can get like an official like uh, LinkedIn URL 
t t t explain it because I see like even big name people with like these long, long, long things and they could just get like their name. Tell, tell our audience about that. Sure. I mean, so branding as you know, you know, it's new home sales, you have new home sales, everything. And it's the same thing, whether it's personal brand or your company, it's, it's an impression, right? That you're instilling on people when they view any of your profiles online. So Twitter, you know, you want to have whatever your brand is, your company, your individual. Same thing with LinkedIn. Every opportunity where you can be found online, you want it to be specific to you. You know, you want people to be able to say it's, you know, LinkedIn forward slash public forward slash Adam Van Babel, my name. O'Neill Interactive, the same thing. If someone sees a bunch of question marks and hashtags and numbers, it just looks like maybe, and especially if, you know, if you're in marketing, that's like kind of 101. It's something that you should be doing because you're doing that for your clients as well. A lot of people don't even realize, like I didn't until you told me that you can get your own URL for LinkedIn. Um, and actually mine's new homes. So it's LinkedIn forward slash in forward slash new homes. Um, you know, one thing I noticed, you know, meeting and, and networking with these top professionals is they're not one dimensional people. They're doing big things. You're giving back. Uh, I'm really excited about Be More events and you're, you're, you're ranking like super high for, for, but tell me what you do with Be More and then tell me about this, the big summit that's coming up with Mashable. Yeah. So, um, thank you. I, I've worked on Be More events for several years. It's social good event promotion and free nonprofit resources. So. I have a nonprofit background, a marketing background. Realize that whether it's, you know, you have a small team or a limited budget, nonprofits need and really well deserving nonprofits doing great work all across the country and the globe. I mean, we have people from Europe promoting their events on Be More Events, which is fantastic. Um, but they're limited in a lot of those resources. So we serve as a platform to educate them, to get them additional exposure. Um, that kind of parlays into brackets for good which is an organization that I'm an evangelist for. Every year around March Madness, you have charities from across the country that compete locally in their markets for ultimately, you know, you have a sponsor in each market that win tons of money, you know, $10,000 for, for the winner and all the money that they're able to raise. But that exposure, right? Those new volunteer opportunities that you can get and help spreading their mission. That kind of leads into Mashable, the Sociable Good Summit. I'll be going up there in about a month. I'm going to be covering the event. It's in New York City um, at 92Y, so the Y in New York, which is like a huge hub. Um, and I'll be in the Digital Media Lounge covering this event. And you have social good proponents from across the, the country, across the globe, meeting together, coming, sharing thoughts and ideas of hashtag there is 2030 now. And the whole idea is by 2030, where do we want to be and how do we get there? What do we instill today, you know, as far as opportunities to live in a better world? So you have all these thought leaders, huge stars, um, you know, people like Bill and Melinda Gates have been there in the past. And it's just a great opportunity to get with people who really want to live in a better society and just have great conversations. Dude, Adam, powerful, bro, what you're doing. I'm, I'm grateful that you're using your powers for good. Tell me why, why is it important to give back? What, what, how did you think of this? Tell me quickly about that. Sure. I mean, I, for me, I'm in business development and everything's relationships, right? I mean, I met you at IBS in uh, January this year and we've kept in touch. We have a great relationship. And it's just really important to the communities you live in, the industries you work in. If you want to have something that's beneficial where you're truly successful and you're achieving a level of fulfillment, it's about giving back, right? It's not just about you know, me, 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 and what can I get? When you give out, you get back, right? So whether it's personal or professional, those are kind of my beliefs. And I see that the more that I do what I believe in, the more it's reciprocated with me. So I, I love to see that. I love to feel that. Last thing, tell me a resource that you use, because I know you're always studying, you're always learning a podcast, a book, a video. Tell me something. Sure. Um, so actually on the flight out here, Seth Godin, I'm sure, you know, a lot of people watching have read his books. Um, Lynchpin, you know, it's how to be indispensable, how you can truly show value. And actually giving back is a huge proponent of that in the book. Um, you know, it's about just sharing your value to, you know, the exponential, you know, it's, it's like the next level. And to me, I think, just like you said, whether it's a podcast, whether it's reading books, whether it's being parts of groups like the Wolfpack that we're in, right? Um, it's, it's sharing knowledge and being able, I mean, this whole summit is about, it's learning, right? It's having conversations, but it's also sharing your knowledge so that others can benefit. 
Um, so that's, that's what I believe in. And obviously with the internet, it's really easy to find a lot of great information out there, but events like this where you get to talk to people and share those ideas in person. Well, dude, you're, you're a linchpin for a lot of organizations. You're doing big things out there. Any last shout outs? Um, no, I mean, thank you for your work, Quint. Obviously, when we met, it's you're interviewing countless people in the industry, and a lot of them are giving back. So I, I love that on both levels, both industry and personally. Um, but, you know, O'Neill Interactive, please check out our website. Reach out to me, newhomesales.com. And check out Jeff Shore, obviously. We're here at this great event. Um, Amy O'Connor, Ryan Taft. There's, there's just a tremendous amount of insight to be gained here. So thank you for the time. Hey, they're getting rolling out here. We got to go, Adam. Thank you very much. Thank you.